modified 10,000 foot descent in Brazil and a near catastrophe during testing. We're about to push the limits again with the first ever experiment in driving upside down. The Hot Wheels test facilities have always been leaders in the development of technology. At the UK facility, lead engineer Rupert Collins is testing a new Hot Wheels Indy car. 800 horsepower, a .24 drag coefficient, and spoiler wings to increase downforce and keep it pressed to the track. The facility is about to test this car and see if it can drive upside down. We have the UK facility standing by. UK facility live link online. Well said, Jay. The theory has always been that if you drove a car fast enough, you could drive it upside down. You see, the same force that lifts an aeroplane upwards is reversed here. The spoilers press the car against the road, even if, in theory, that road happens to be upside down. We're testing this theory by running our Hot Wheels IndyCar out of this hangar, flipping it upside down into a suspended straightaway for 4.3 seconds at 306 miles per hour, then flipping it back just before reaching the other hangar. Hey, how do you control this kind of speed? Ah, electromagnetic acceleration to get us going and the electromagnetic braking to slow us down. Imagine hitting those ramps at 300 miles an hour can put some serious stress on the drivers. G-load during the transitions is extremely heavy. Look here. Heart, brain, lungs, rib cage, all under enormous pressure. We've developed, in collaboration with IZOD, a biometric suit without which the driver's insides would fill with blood and his brain would turn to mush. OK, Jay, I must sign off. We're just moments away. Biometrics on. Leading vitals, check. Telemetry, good. In car, all systems go. Driver helmet cam recording. Check. Driver is secured. Check. Launch magnets up. <laughs> Commence countdown. Three, two, one. is returning to his brain. He should regain consciousness. Still no sign of movement in the cockpit. He's okay. Blue Driver is okay. Driver is secured. Congratulations, Blue Driver. I'm not sure how much you remember, but you just made history. Yeah, it's not surprising Blue Driver passed out from G-forces. Upon review, he was traveling 306 miles per hour and experienced 12 Gs during the inversion. Overall, an amazingly successful test to prove that an Indy car can drive upside down. Coming up, live at Indianapolis, Team Hot Wheels and the Hot Wheels test facility go for the world record.